How about that southbound Mike Lowry? You got a radio on there? Yeah, go ahead. How are we doing this afternoon, sir? Good. Good. Are you in that little car ahead of me? Yes, sir. What is that thing on the side of your car? That's an old contraption that makes those rolling CB interviews. Oh, shit. I thought you might have something to do with law enforcement. No, sir. I don't need a ticket. Today, the only thing I'm giving out are compliments there, right? Oh, okay. 10-4. Um, I figured I'd spend some time talking to some of the guys who are running up and down five that can't make it to the show. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty good show. My, uh, the guy I work for has a, uh, a really nice hay truck, show truck, and uh, he's going to go out there Saturday, too. That's Josh Lowry, Mike Lowry's son. Well, 10 4. I want to see who I'm talking to for a minute here. Yeah, 10 4, come on up. Okay. You don't look like a cop. Ha <laughs> 10-4. You're going to go to the Willow's Truck Show. Well, I'll tell you what, that's going to be a really nice show because I've, I've, I've talked to a lot of people that are going down there and uh, I know a lot of the hay trucks down there. This one here is brand new. It's pretty new and it's got a new set of trailers on it. Um, and we run everywhere all over the place as far as uh, as far as Utah and back LA Oregon all over the place now what do you got for a motor in there and uh, transmission and gears oh uh, it's just this one's a 10 speed it's a it's a 485 you'll see a lot of the hay trucks at that show that really really got the horsepower my boss has got one. It's it's a fantastic truck. I'm sure you'll see it over there. It's it's like this one except it's uh, blue with flames and beautiful truck. A lot of chrome. Oh man, about 200 lights on it. Yeah, it's neat. Nice. I can't wait to check it out. I've seen a couple of head turners when I was uh, coming up from the airport uh, yesterday. I flew into Sacramento and. Uh, uh, I was going north, and a couple of trucks were going south there, you know, some cab overs and whatnot. And tell you what, you know, if the if the regular trucks that are running the roads look that sharp, I can't wait to get my eyes on uh, some of the show trucks there. Oh yeah, you'll see, you'll see Josh is over there. You'll see uh, Magini's fantastic hay trucks. Uh, you'll see a lot of stuff. It's they're really nice. It's beautiful. I've been with this company for 16 years. And I've, uh, I think I've been with Josh for seven or eight years in the hay part. And then the gravel crew and the other part of it. But this is, this right here is definitely, it's definitely a lot of fun. I'm an old guy. I'm 64. But I just love hauling hay. You know, I mean, it's great. It's fun. You get to go to a lot of places. And especially when your truck's all lit up. I got like 180 lights on this one at night. It's beautiful. But coming out here in California... I don't know the first thing about hay hauling. So if you can enlighten me, you know, first out of my own curiosity, but if you can tell me, you know, where are you coming from with that hay and, and where are you going to with it? And and obviously there's a purpose for it. So if you wouldn't mind uh, shedding some light on that, I'd, I'd love to hear about it. Well, this hay right here is coming from Malin, Oregon. And we take most of the hay from uh, Tule Lake and, and Malin to a, to a hay press down here in Winters. And... Uh, they cut it up, put it in containers, and ship it overseas. So, I mean, we haul loads. I mean, like, sometimes 10, 8, 10, 15 loads a day that go to that press over there. And uh, it gets pressed, and then and they shoot it over overseas to China, Japan, wherever. Wherever it goes over there. Uh, and that's year-round year round so we're working every day and I had no idea this stuff was going out of the country like that now we take it you know we take up to presses we do we do runs to dairies down south from up here 
We used to haul quite a bit of hay down to LA to all the racetracks. And that was a special kind of hay. Now we're just too busy, so we gotta stay on this. Tell me about the, the link law here uh, for the trailers and, and obviously why you pull double trailers. The trailers are tra California trailers are 28 six inches each one. And the overall length of the trailer to the front of the truck to the back of the trailer, you, you can't exceed 75 feet. But naturally, well, you pull double so you can get the, you know, as much hay as possible down here without going over the weight limit. California is 80,000. That's your maximum weight. You know, how'd you get into trucking? Well, <laughs> all right, I'm going to tell you how I got into this. It's probably not the best story. When I was younger, I got in a lot of trouble, so I had to... Uh, go work for the state for a while, for a long time. The only person that would give me a job out here when I got out was Mike Lowry. And uh, that was 16 years ago. I've never left. I just never got out of the truck. I stayed. Seems like you found yourself a home there, sir. Yeah, these are great people, man. The Lowry's are really cool. We have Mike's got like 280 trucks. We're, we're, we're out at Dixon over here, right alongside 80, right alongside the freeway. Uh, so whoever drives by can always see how many trucks are out there. It's just beautiful, all new trucks. This is the only hay truck painted this color. This one and that blue trailer right there, it's the only one like it. The others are, are white with blue stripes. Well, it looks like it only found me a unicorn then, huh? Yeah, yeah, I just like it a little different, you know. That's awesome. Actually, there's the old Mike Lowry colors, and uh, they got away from him, and uh, he decided to paint this one for me, and gave me a new set of trailers and turned me loose. Looking at a load of hay, you know, a person may think, well, that looks light, you know. Uh, tell me about that. No, that's not light. Those bales are... Uh, those those bales right there are, are about fifteen hundred and something apiece. So they're big bales. So my load right now is pretty close to eighty thousand with uh, counting the truck. Are you having to wait a couple hours to get it off, or you know what's that like there? Now you go into the press and uh, the squeeze comes up to you right away. And when it's done loading, it only takes about takes about maybe less than ten minutes. And then you can just strap down and you're on your way for the next one. That's not like those uh, horror stories we hear of guys waiting hours to get unloaded and then having to pay you know, a couple hundred dollars uh, 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 lumber fees to get their, their load off there. See, that's different. Hauling is a whole lot different now. Those guys got appointment times. And uh, I imagine they have a lot of trucks behind them and in front of them. When I go get some hay, I just call up the farmer and tell him I'm going to be there to get some hay, and he'll say, "What time you want to? What time do you want me to load you?" Give him a time. Go in there, get loaded, and split. It only takes about 15 minutes to load, tie it down, weigh it out, and leave. So that's pretty much how it is everywhere getting hay. Well, uh, I didn't ask your name. You know, what do you go by on the radio there? I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't have one of those handles. Uh, my name's Travis. That's that's what my name is. Well, Travis, it's a pleasure to talk to you there. And uh, I forgot. Uh, I'm looking at this guy behind you, here trying to figure out what he wants to do. Um, Travis, uh, I was pretty disappointed with the with the highway speeds here in California. You know, they got the trucks down to 55. Uh, is there a reason for that? Um, well, yeah, I guess they. Uh, they think we don't have enough room or whatever, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in Nevada a lot, and every place else, and the speed limit's 75, so, uh, I don't know, maybe we're more crowded than anybody else. And that's all of, uh, all of California that has that speed limit? Yeah, it's, uh, uh California's 55, same as Oregon. Uh, there are, uh, every place I've been has been pretty fun for hauling hay and stuff, so. I, I have a good time. Hopefully I'll get a few more years out of it and uh, uh, 
maybe I'll just slow down or maybe I'll do something else. But I can't imagine what, though. 10-4, some of the guys that I've talked to there, uh, they've retired out of trucking and, you know, they, they find themselves back in a truck. And, you know, either way you go, I hope that uh, you find something that you'd want to do and enjoy. And if you get back into it, then, hey, you know, we, we still appreciate you out there trucking and getting the job done for us. Well, maybe I'll get me a little car with a camera on it and finish off my life like that. <laughs> Um, I'm going to ask you one last question there, then I'm going to look for a place to jump off, but uh, it has to do with um, the move-over law. You know, in Florida, they have a move-over law, and seeing what we got here coming up. Uh, what is that like here for California? Yeah, it's the same thing. We got, uh, you You have to move over for workers, high patrolmen, it's all law enforcement. And besides that, you know, you see a truck on the side of the road, and, you see, and he's broke down or something, you want to give him a... Uh, you know, just give them all the room you can. You don't want nothing to happen. I really appreciate you picking up the mic there and talking to me and uh, filling in some gaps on uh, what it's like to, to haul hay and things like that. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. It was good talking to you. I'll see you over there at the truck show, huh? Absolutely, sir. We'll, uh, we'll have a safe round and uh, we'll see you. All right, thanks a lot. Catch you later.